Hello and welcome to Ancient History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today I'm going to be introducing to you the ancient region of Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is an ancient region in the Middle East, east of the Mediterranean by the Zagros Mountains and between the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. The word Mesopotamia in Greek means between two rivers. The region is now known as Iraq, but once included parts of modern day Iran, Syria and Turkey. The area is also known as the Fertile Crescent, and it is where the Mesopotamian civilization began. Mesopotamia was less unified than civilizations such as Egypt and Greece, and contained multiple different cultures which all shared the same script, gods and attitudes towards women. In different periods and regions, the gods' names differed, yet the pantheon, which spanned over 1,000 deities, was shared overall, even though the language, certain laws and social customs of different kingdoms would change over time. Mesopotamia is best understood as a region containing multiple empires, kingdoms and civilizations, which rose and fell, not a single unified nation such as Egypt. Mesopotamia was home of the very first empires, which included the Akkadian, the Babylonian, and the Assyrian Empire. The region of Sumer was the southeastern part of Mesopotamia by the Persian Gulf. In the fourth millennium BCE, two major developments occurred in Sumer, which gave Mesopotamia the honor of being known as the cradle of civilization. These were the development of the modern idea of the city, and the invention of writing, which was also developed in other regions such as Egypt and the Indus Valley. The invention of the wheel is also credited to Mesopotamia, due to an ancient wheel found at the site of the ancient city of Ur. Mesopotamia is credited with many different inventions and developments, which includes agriculture, the domestication of animals, beer and wine, the chariot, demarcation of time into hours, minutes and seconds, irrigation, sophisticated weaponry and warfare, and many more. Archaeological excavations reveal that human occupation dates back 10,000 years BCE. Due to the fertile condition of the land between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, communities were able to settle the land, domesticate animals, and work in agriculture. With the introduction of trade, writing was invented to aid in long-distance communication. From there came urbanization, which prompted the birth of the city. It is believed that the first Greek philosopher, Thales of Miletus, studied at Mesopotamia in Babylon in around 585 BCE, in a city that was known in antiquity as a seat of learning. Schools in Mesopotamia were numerous and taught astrology, law, medicine, religion, reading and writing. The world's oldest story, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is from Mesopotamia. And some biblical stories such as the fall of man and the flood of Noah are generally accepted to have originated in the region. The occupations in Mesopotamia were held by both men and women. Some of these jobs include the scribe, the artisan, healer, weaver, potter, fisherman, shoemaker, teacher, priest or priestess. In Mesopotamia, women were almost as equal as men and were able to file for divorce, own land and own their own business. It is known that early brewers of wine and beer and healers in the community were initially women. In order to keep peace and harmony in the world, the people performed these jobs as a contribution to the community and to please the gods. The Sumerian culture of southern Mesopotamia were the first group to practice the scientific hypothesis and create the written word. They also developed mathematics, astrology and astronomy and created the concept of time itself. Some of the other important inventions by the Sumerians were writing, irrigation and farming, the sail, the wheel, cities, maps, medicinal drugs and surgery. It was the Sumerians that laid down the foundations for scientific inquiries that has continued by the Egyptians and the Greeks and has carried on to the present day. Each city had a temple for the city's patron god, often on a raised platform which towered over all the other structures. It is thought that the temple was constructed first and all other buildings then rose around it, giving birth to the first cities which were largely made of sun-dried mud brick. The temples in Mesopotamian cities are well known for the ziggurat, a step pyramid with a temple room on the top and stairs up to allow access. The temple was considered closer to the heavens by being on top of the stepped structure. 
specific prayers recited in a specific order were necessary for the planning and construction of any building project, as it was thought that the gods were present during the entire process. Rituals and prayers were essential for the success of the project and for the prosperity of the future occupants. At some point after 3600 BCE, the concept of kingship was established, which created a new position for the monarch other than the priest ruler which came before. Instead of dictating law according to religious precepts and divine messages, the kings could create their own law and were considered powerful enough to be representatives of the gods on earth. Still, they did rely on the gods for legitimization of rule and they invoked them in their decrees. Hammurabi of Babylon, who ruled between 1792 and 1750 BCE, is the most famous example of a king who proclaimed his own law code by decree, claiming that he received it directly from the gods. This type of claim is common, for a ruler, no matter how successful, would only be legitimate as long as they had the god's support. Proof of the god's support was a prosperous reign, exemplified by good harvest, military victory, and the general well-being of the people. Sargon of Akkad, who ruled between 2334 and 2279 BCE, was a very efficient monarch, yet regions still contested his rule and revolted. Sargon is a, an important man to remember as the creator of the First Empire. Due to the size of the region of Mesopotamia and the numerous cultures who called it home, it would have been impossible to enforce laws of a central government across the whole region without some resistance from one group or another. Even so, Mesopotamian monarchs were able to provide the people a society stable enough to create some of the most important aspects of world culture. This video is a short introduction to the vastly rich history of Mesopotamia with an introduction to some of the key names from this time. It is clear from just this short introduction how much the modern city and culture overall has to thank Mesopotamia for. This video was brought to you by Ancient History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, please head to our website via the link below. Ancient History Encyclopedia is a not-for-profit organisation, so if you'd like to support our work, please hit the support link on the screen or via the link below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.